Let's take a moment to dive into the intriguing world of group thinking, an aspect of human interaction that shapes our decisions in ways we often overlook. Have you ever found yourself in a meeting where everyone seemed to nod in agreement, yet you had a nagging feeling that something was amiss? Well, that's the essence of groupthink, a phenomenon that can lead to disastrous outcomes if not recognised. Groupthink, a term coined by psychologist Irving Janis in the early 1970s, refers to the practice of thinking or making decisions as a group, often resulting in irrational or dysfunctional outcomes. The danger lies in the suppression of dissent viewpoints. Why is it that we feel compelled to conform even when our instincts urge us otherwise? Could it be the desire for harmony or perhaps the fear of being ostracised? Consider the infamous case of the Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961, President John F. Kennedy's advisory group, rather than encouraging open dialogue, fell prey to groupthink. They ignored dissenting opinions, ultimately leading to a catastrophic failure. What if, instead of succumbing to the pressure of conformity, they had embraced a culture of open communication? Might history have been written differently? Now, let's think about the workplace. Have you ever witnessed a team project where one or two dominant voices overshadowed quieter members? It's all too common. According to research by psychologist Patrick Lencioni, teams that lack trust often fall into this trap. When individuals don't feel safe to express their opinions, creativity is stifled and innovation suffers. Isn't it ironic that in our quest for consensus, we can inadvertently stifle the very ideas that could propel us forward? So, how can we combat groupthink? First, fostering an environment that encourages diverse perspectives is essential. Have you ever considered the value of inviting a devil's advocate to your discussions? This technique, advocated by Janis himself, encourages critical thinking and ensures that all angles are explored. It's a simple yet effective strategy. Why not give it a try? Secondly, breaking down hierarchies can be crucial. Are we not all aware that the loudest voice in the room doesn't always have the best ideas? Creating a culture where every member feels valued and empowered can lead to richer discussions and more innovative solutions. And let's not forget the importance of reflection. After a decision is made, why not take a moment to review the process? Were all viewpoints considered? Were any red flags raised? This practice of reflection not only helps in recognising mistakes, but also aids in learning from them. In conclusion, group thinking, while a natural part of human interaction, can lead us down a perilous path if we're not careful. Let's challenge ourselves to foster environments where diverse opinions are not just welcomed, but celebrated. So the next time you find yourself in a group discussion, ask yourself, are we genuinely collaborating or are we merely going along for the ride? Thank you for considering this vital aspect of our collective decision-making. Let's strive for a culture of open dialogue, for it is only through embracing our differences that we can truly thrive.